Friends, Wizards, Witches and Muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing really well. Um, I'm having a bad hair day, just putting that out there, so yeah. Also a massive, massive thank you to all of your kind, kind, kind words and comments and all of your messages that you've bombarded me with <laughs> since my last video, I really do appreciate it and I've read everything, I'm really sorry that I can't possibly reply to it all, but thank you. But I thought today it was about time that I jumped straight back into magical subscription boxes. I have a whole pile of them that have stacked up and we're gonna start off with the Gobstone Alley Flying Parcel from July. It's actually really, really heavy this month, so <laughs> I'm very excited. Let's get on with it. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because, ah, I love this one. Okay, so we have the Gobstone Alley flying parcel box here. I feel like I also need to mention, I have seen quite a few messages about these not arriving on time or their customer service not replying. I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. I love these guys so much and they are great and I definitely support them, but I do believe there's a little bit of a communication problem at the moment. Um, I have asked them about it, but I've not heard back yet. I thought I should mention that before unboxing this and going crazy about it. So if you are gonna order one of these, you may need to be patient. Uh, my take on it is that they were quite a small company and I think maybe, I mean, I don't wanna take full credit, but they have blown up and they've got really popular and I think maybe they might be struggling a little bit, but either way, I just thought I would note that before opening it. So let's get on with it. Here is the box. You guys know what this Goldstone Alley box looks like by now, and let's just open it on up and see what's inside. Ah! Okay, so we have got the red tissue paper because I'm a Gryffindor. Hey, it matches my headband today. Let's just have a quick sneak peek though that everything is very well wrapped in here. Ooh, so I'm gonna start off with the wearable, which is always a t-shirt and I'm gonna show you guys first. All I can see is that it's gray. Is it good? Is it amazing? Ooh, this is very LGBT style. So it says sunshine daisies, butter mellow, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. So if you don't know, that is the quote from the Philosopher's Stone where Ron is trying to do spells on the Hogwarts Express. I quite like that. It doesn't scream magic or Harry Potter in the design, but obviously the quote is magical. These are such great quality t-shirts. They are so soft. They're definitely some of my favorites. And yeah, I really like that. That's actually one of my favorite spells that Ron does. And it says Ronald Weasley, age 11. So that's the t-shirt from July's Gobstone Alley. <gasps> we have a wand. Okay, we'll come to the wand. I'm not gonna open that yet because that's an exciting thing. I am going to unravel whatever is inside here. They're still using that really funky eco packaging, which I completely dig. So let's put that down here. And it is wrapped in even more tissue. Oh my goodness gracious me, this is adorable. <sighs> yes, happiness, happiness is coming to me through this box. So this is a jar filled with eagle owl feathers and there are actually feathers in there. Can we get to these? Yes, we can. Look, look, lots of little feathers. This is so sweet. I mean, do they use these feathers in potions? I bet they do. I bet they're an ingredient for something. But yeah, that's so cool. Wow, I wasn't expecting anything like this. This is going straight on my shelf where I keep all of my bottles of potions and that kind of thing. I really like that. That is a really great product and a brilliant, brilliant start to what is in here. And there is so much as per usual. Okay, let's kick it off next with this, which I believe might be the candle. And it's a full sized one. Let's have a look. Yep, it's definitely the candle. What could it be? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so relevant to my life right now. This is Forks the Phoenix. I say it's relevant because I genuinely feel like I'm a phoenix that is about to rise from the ashes. It's a orange and red, oh this is lovely, candle. Let's open it. Hmm, that smells really yummy. What is that meant to smell like? It's kind of, it smells very autumnal. It's so autumn. This is autumn in a jar. I love the label. That is so, so pretty with forks on there. These are by Incendio Candles. They are 100% vegan and handmade. I have got such a collection. 
of these candles now. I'm not joking, I could open a candle store. So yeah, I really like that. That has pleased me as well. Ah, oh, this is a good box so far, okay. I'm still saving the wand. Next up, we have got a money box. Ah! Okay, so this is a platform nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express one. It says saving for the trolley. That is such a nice thing. This is a licensed product. Someone asked what does licensed mean? It means that these are actually made by the Wizarding World people, Warner Bros or whoever does all their merch, their actual merchandise. So yeah, you can get these, I imagine, from other places. But yeah, that's a really, really nice tin. I love that it says saving for the trolley. That's really, really sweet. Next, I have found a random stray bag with nothing inside of it. I'm going to assume that the contents have escaped in the box, so we'll get back to that soon. Okay, I have not found what has escaped so far, but let's talk about this month's tea. So they have one of these in every single month and this is the Cozy Elves Magical Drinks and Sweets and it's Ginny Weasley's orange tea. <gasps> orange is one of my favourite flavours and scents so any orange sweets I love so much. I know there's probably people like why isn't it cherry but no orange is where it's at and let's have a smell. <sighs> yes that smells very orangey. I can actually see pieces of orange peel and orange rind in there. And yeah, ooh, it smells like orange chocolate. It's really, really good. And my cupboard is overflowing with these at the moment. I kid you not. Ooh, okay. We have got, this is slightly controversial. This is a chocolate frog card. And this month it is of Gellert Grindelwald. Yes, I'm so looking forward to the next Fantastic Beasts film. It's out in November. It's gonna be great. That's a really interesting chocolate frog card to have him on it, especially as Johnny Depp. Let's not get into that because I know that a lot of people are a little bit like, ah, Johnny Depp, but yeah. So let's move on. So we've got a really, really cute pin, which again is a light licensed product, let's just whip it out of there. This says, free the house elves, and it's actually really nice, it's got glitter. <gasps> There's a really, really tiny, tiny dobby. That's so sweet, I love the glitter overlay, that's really, really nice. I love that, we should free the house elves. Next up, we have got, oh, they've got another one of these. This is part of their Prefects bathroom range, and <laughs> it's Percy Weasley's Nerdy Bath. Now the last one of these smelt incredible. It was the Proclamation Umbridge style one and it had loads of flowers and petals in it, which personally I don't like because I'm a little bit weird about things floating in my bath water. D is anyone else like that? I would absolutely love to know, but let's have a smell of what this is. So these are bath salts. I'm excited. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but good news is there are no flowers. There are little bits, but I'm not sure what they are. They're kind of really squidgy. I'm not sure. It smells really old fashioned, like almost like a, what a Victorian bathroom would smell like maybe. I'm not sure about that, but I definitely am going to try to use it and see how it smells in the actual bath water and if it's better without loads of floaty bits. But that's really cool. I love this range. I would love, love, love to see more of these and different types of bath products. That would be really cool. That's a very nice thing. So this is very sweet. This is a magnet, which I'm guessing is officially licensed. Yes, it is. It says Water Brothers Entertainment on the bottom. This is a Dobby magnet. And let's just take this out because you know how I was saying the badge was really glittery and I liked that. This is also really, really glittery. This can look perfect on my fridge. Look how sparkly it is. Dobby has no master. Dobby is a free elf. I'm a free elf, yes. I just wanna throw socks at him. That's a very, very nice magnet. That's probably one of the nicest magnets I've ever received in a subscription box. I like that. This would be really cool to have them in different colors, different characters, but the same style so that you can kind of make a grid of them on your fridge. Yeah, I like that a lot. So let's move on to, I've still got the wand. See, there is a wand. We're saving it. And there are other things in here that are exciting me. What is this? This look, is this a replica? Oh, it's a replica. Okay, so this is the Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. I mean, I don't know what it, 
is this like a menu of what they sell in their store? This is beautiful quality. It's actual thick card that feels, it's kind of got a silicon feel to it. It feels really, really good. This is beautiful. This is gonna be perfect for Instagrams. I like these. Do more of these, Gostinelli. So we've got Dung Bombs, freshly delivered every third Friday, Weasley and Weasley. We've got Unlucky Dip, <laughs> I like that. We've got the Skiving Snack Box with Fever Fudge, Fainting Fancies, Puking Pastels, Nosebleed Nougat, or Nougat. Uh, what else? It says this week's Manager Specials, Decoy Detonator Nose Biting Teacup. That sounds fun. The Self Writing Quills, and oh my gosh. This is actually beautiful. This is my favorite thing in the box, maybe, apart from the owl feathers in the jar. I love things that you could really imagine to have come from the films. I love that. Ah, brilliant. Okay, we've got a few more things. We've got these and a wand. This is exciting me a lot, but let's get these out of the way. So in every single box, we have these Harry Potter trading card games, uh, all of the cards, and I love that they're individually wrapped. I have started collecting these. I really need one of those trading card kind of folders to put them all in so that I can see them. So we've got Eel Eyes, Hufflepuff Badger, Keeping Dobby Quiet, Fatiguing Fusion, Winter Holiday, that's a nice one with Hogwarts, and two Transfiguration Lessons, so I've got some duplicates there. But yeah, those are the cards. Uh, I, I, I don't know how I feel that I have a collection of those now. I always said, nah, I'm not gonna collect those, but here we are. So let's move on to this next. I'm just gonna pop this box down here. Okay, so we have a mystery purple envelope and here we have a Department of Magical Education sticker from the Ministry of Magic. Hey, we match. Oh yeah, we do. So let's, oh, I don't want to rip it. Hang on, I'm gonna be careful. Yes, success. Is this another replica? Oh my gosh, this is not just paper, guys. This is like really fancy. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> this box is making me so happy. I need to frame this. I need to frame this, oh my God. Okay, so it says, oh my gosh, this is like a real certificate. The Ministry of Magic, Department of Magical Education. This is to certify that the candidate named below, you're damn straight, but I'm gonna write my name on there with a quill and ink, sat the ordinary wizarding levels. I sat my owls. Conducted by the wizarding examination authority and obtained the following results. Ah, so you could put your name in here, the year of exam, June 2018, and it was the examination center, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and it has all of the classes, so Defense Against the Dark Arts. I got an E, which exceeds expectations, yes. For charms, I got an O, outstanding. Did I get something bad? Oh, I got dreadful in divination. Apparently I'm not good at divination. Oh, this is so cool that it's got all the stamps and it's been signed by Griselda Marchbanks. That's so cool. Ah, this is beautiful. I'm gonna sign this and I'm probably gonna put this in a glass frame. This now is my favorite thing in the box. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how wonderful this feels. It's not paper, it's like thick. Certificate parchment. Ah, this is amazing. I love these. I wish they would continue to make more and more and more replicas. They are fantastic. They're my favorite things to get and receive. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay then, let's move on to the wand, shall we? Here we have the wand from the Ministry of Magic, though they should have Ollivander stickers, surely. But I have 17 wands now. So it's highly likely that each time we get a wand in these boxes that I may get a duplicate, which I'm not mad about because more wands, the merrier. Whose wand is this? Let's feel it. Okay, this is a lot shorter than it should be, but from feeling it, which is my favorite game to play, whose wand is it? This is the Elder Wand. Yeah, so here we go. This is a lot more different than my Elder, or is it? Yeah. This is the, El is this the Elder Wand of what it used to look like? Because it definitely doesn't look like this so much anymore. But I definitely don't have a wand that looks identical to this. So it is very much welcome in my collection. If it was the Elder Wand, because the Elder Wand's a lot longer than this. It's the longest wand I think you can get. 
and yeah I like it the paint jobs are much better this time the slughorn wand wasn't as perfectly painted as this one so yeah we have a new wand I'm always pleased with that ah! I am going to say though I don't know what was meant to be in this bag am I missing something so here we have got the explanation of everything in the box let me just see if I'm missing anything. I don't think I am missing anything. I think I just got a free bag. Maybe the pin was an originally inside of here, but I'm definitely not missing anything. Again, we got 13 items and yeah, I love them so much. Uh, so Percy's bathroom salt, it says that you can use an organza bag to remove flowers easily from your bag. <gasps> oh! Have they potentially put this in for the bath salts? Because if you put the bath salts in here, it catches all of the bits that you don't want floating around. Like, I definitely don't, because it makes me feel really uncomfortable and unsettled in a bath to have things, especially organic things like flowers. So you can still use the salt and they will still diffuse, di or like melt in here, but all the bits will remain in the bag. So if they have put it in, for that purpose, that is brilliant. If they haven't, I'm still gonna use it for that purpose. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything. It says a magical potion ingredient necessary to brew dragon tonic. So that's what the eagle owl feathers were for. Very interesting. So the Weasley's Wizards Wheezy's shop brochure. A big thanks to Muggle Magic DIY for designing it. Yes, I know him. If you don't follow him, definitely check him out on um, Instagram. And I think he has a YouTube channel as well. He's actually sent me some replicas before that are fantastic. So it's really great that they've used a fellow Potterhead for some of their things in their box. I really like that. So the candle for Forks, the Phoenix, is Oriental Scents. I really did like that. Uh, yeah, so that's everything. I really, really enjoyed this box, actually. This was a really, really strong box. I guess we have to come on to the fact that what is my favourite product this month? Well, I have three. Is that really greedy to have three? My favourite products this month are these three. The Eagle Owl Feathers, because I am obsessed with collecting random sized potion bottles with different things inside. I just think it's brilliant. Uh, I really love this and I love it even more that I know that one of my fellow peers has helped design that. Well done. It's, it's, it's great. I love the feel of it. And But I think maybe the ultimate favourite it has to be this. It has to be my certificate from my owls. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna do something really special with this. I will probably take a picture of it at some point on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, definitely check me out down below. Um, yeah, wow, I'm like overwhelmed. I don't even think I have a least favorite product because I kind of like everything. Ah, yeah, if I had to choose my least favorite product and I still like it, is probably the money box just because I don't really use them but I definitely love the saving for the trolley part so that's probably maybe my least favorite thing or the t-shirt perhaps but everything else honestly it's filled me with so much magic this is what I need at the moment being filled with magic and goodness but yeah ah, okay that's it I would love to know your thoughts down below in a comment what was your favorite thing what was your least favorite thing have you received this box yourself I will leave a link down below if you'd like to get your own. This is not sponsored. I simply get them for free. So yeah, the choice is yours. And I am gonna go now and yeah, this has made me very happy. It's all made me happy. Okay, I will see you very soon for another unboxing. I have my Loot Crate and my Geek Gear ones to come. I will see you soon. Bye!